differentiate between like which one is which. Um, okay. <clears throat> I am ready to do some VOD review. Alright. Bell replays are downloaded. Okay. Sorry, that battle replay was deleted and cannot be played back. What do you mean? Uh, whoops. What do you mean? It was deleted. I, I, it's, it's like... Wait, is it this one? Wait, hold... Wait. What? What? Eh? That's... Oh, okay, no, Nana. Okay, it's here. Okay, good. Oh, they were talking about, like, the previous one. Okay. Okay. No problemo. Don't worry. No worries. Uh, so... We can start with Rick Jones, which is a boop 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 boop. There's something wrong there. Okay, this is the duplicate. So, let us start with this one. Um, so, uh. G game from Rick Jones with the bow point on Splat Zone's Sturgeon Shipyard. Okay. Let us see. Okay. We got some sniper. We got some range. We got lots of range on our team. On the other team, we got way less range actually. Because we got the tri slusher, the sploosh, and the arrow spray. Okay. So basically, I, I I think the main gameplay is gonna be to abuse your range, abuse your power, okay. take good positions to pressure the zone and not be able to be pressured back. Honestly, I would probably just move um, here. I mean, the closer you can... I mean, not really the closest. You don't really want to be that close. Where are you? Okay. Okay. You, you, you kind of want to stand back, but have a good vantage point. Uh, to pressure the zone, especially. Because that's really what you want to focus on right now. Because as you can see currently... I mean, okay, you painted the zone. But I, I, I figure you could have probably painted it earlier. If you were really focusing on the zone. Because you've got the pain power and you've got the range. Um, yeah, the enemies aren't going to be able to... I don't, yeah, I don't think you should have jumped there. Honestly, yeah, the, the place I suggested earlier, I think it's pretty good. Because if you stand here, you can uh, use your long range shots to pressure the zone with damage and prevent the, the short range enemies from staying there. But also, they can't really get close to you. Because they don't have a... I mean, they're short range, right? So they're going to try to get close, but... It's not safe for them to do that. And also, if you if that platform comes up at some point, you can just climb on it and use your short range shots, which paint very well to paint on the zone. So basically, depending on on the platform's uh, current position, you can assume different roles. Um, yeah. Yeah. Feels like you. You kind of didn't focus on the zone too much, and and from what I saw, you really were focusing more on the side of the zone, like fighting people. Um, I think, yeah, you, your weapon can be can it likes to be sometimes in anchor spots, in like spots where snipers or or like a hydra would place itself, and. I don't think you you went to those places too much, like especially on the right side. I would say of the map, because there's also a side of the map where you can stand. I guess I'll I'll check the second battle, uh, the second replay, and I'll I'll show you the zones. Um, but like mostly on the right side of the map, because then you're you're way closer to the action. I figure um, it's not necessarily a problem to not be on the center zone, but basically it's like, see if you're here. You've got like some cover and you're like actually way closer to the zone. You're like in in the middle part of the map. Whereas if you're if you're standing back here as you're going right now, you're like way farther. And it's harder for you to use your short range shots to paint the zone because like your long range shots are not as effective. From here, you're not really doing much in my opinion. You should really consider 
either standing in that spot on the greats or maybe on the right side. The right side especially might be very good for your weapon. Um, uh, like this one is good if if you mind like the the times when this platform is up. That way you can like come closer, paint paint the zone a little bit more. This one is is pretty good if you don't really want to bother. If you don't really want to be as in a as a risky spot as there, because. The enemies really can't get to you there. If you want to back off, you're safe. So if you want to have less platforming to bother with and uh, just be safer overall, even if you have less impact on the zone, you can use that spot. Um... Here's here's another thing with the uh, with the ball point. Um, usually, so like the, the main gimmick of the ball point is that it can like hold its charge and uh, entrap uh, shooting with charging again. It can be the point is that it always should play with that charge. A thing that uh, it prevents it to play with that charge uh, well as it wants to is like swimming. If you swim, it cancels the charge. That's something you want to avoid doing as much as possible. So that's why you always want to have. A good flat uh, area terrain that you can be on, um, and with like a clear path of ink behind you to be able to back off. Pretty good shots. Um, how is the um, zone looking? I'm not paying too much attention to the scores because I've, I've been like talking strategies. <laughs> Can you look at the map a little bit? Oh, if I look at the map, I can kind of cheat because I see where enemies are at. Um, you're not really playing with your char, but I guess it's fine because you're using your bombs. Maybe watch your your left side though. It feels like you're not. Yeah. Also, like here, you try to retreat. It feels, it feels like you're spending too much time moving about. Like that whole. Uh, going around in the backside that you did, it was kind of probably something you could have avoided. And honestly, you know, honestly, if you were on that place, like somewhere around here, you could have probably like painted both here and there without having to be in danger and then be in danger and have to go all the way around. Because like, see the, the like the fizzy bombs you threw? I'm pretty sure you could have thrown them from here. Maybe not as far, but it's not like like you really had anyone to shoot at anyway. The fizzy bombs were more like suggestions to keep the zone painting your color. Um, that was weird. So yeah, I, I definitely think on on this map especially, like it has a lot of high points above and near the zones, and those are points you can use. Your playstyle is more flexible, so you can like choose. And I think like it's, it's it's a pretty safe choice to you to pick more anchory spots. I would say instead of being in the battlefield or like very far away, because I guess I guess on the left side it's also an anchor spot. It's not the best one though. I would say it's too far away. Like a hydra maybe could like do some stuff on there. Um, because yeah, usually here's the thing. Usually people who um. Let me let me start over actually so that I can like talk over the the gameplay. You know, over the map. And I can show stuff. So people usually when they roll out, like most weapons, most shooters, they usually prefer to roll out on the right side. Because it's the easiest one, right? You've got a a, a ramp, it's like it's very easy to go there. Uh, whereas here it's like it's a wall. People usually don't like to go here. That's why you, you can see most of the people usually either like pillar or right side. Very few actually go here, um, I think. So, if you if you think about this on the enemy side, they will come from here, and uh, the best way to pressure them if they come from the right from their right side is to be on that spot. I do agree. I do see why maybe that that would be interesting. The problem with splat zones is that well, they're gonna come here, and then they're gonna ignore you. They're not gonna try to push farther. They're gonna focus on the zone. If you're a hydra. Maybe then you've got enough range and enough like fast fire rate to like get some kills, um, but I don't think the ball point can do that same thing. Maybe if you're an e-leader also, that spot could be interesting. 
because you could basically cover their entry point and and a bit of the zone on that side um, but yeah I definitely think that you would be more useful on on the right side or on the middle because even just like in in this place in the middle you've got you're closer to the action I feel like if you go down like if you're on that spot right you can go down on the great you have that wall to play off of and you, you, you can also focus on the zone basically you're not stuck to like being on the edge there and just focusing on the people that are close there um, you can still focus on those people if you're on that side of the great but then you can also get to the zone much easier by going up and onto that platform and and just you're ju you're just closer to the zone it's basically if you look at those right they're literally pretty close to one another this one is like a, an inch closer don't think it really matters too much but what really matters is that it's closer to the zone that's really what what's important there uh, don't forget about the mode you're playing and try to pick your positions not only for the kills that you want to make uh, but also the the game mode you're playing and where you think you'll be more effective at playing the mode because again your weapon paints really well i guess you got the big swig i guess you got the splatter shot uh, but your weapon is also not half bad with the close range shots for pain so yes that that's my two cents on it let's take a look at your third game and um and then we'll be on our way um so third game it is on I think it's the same mode, I think it's Flat Zones, and it is on Undertow Spillway. Yes, okay, so one thing um, some people have thrown around in the Squid School server, I think I forgot who it was, but it was a very smart thing to say, is that like the glass part on the left side is not necessarily the best part to be in as a bullpoint or really any like long range uh, weapon, because uh, the left side uh, I mean, the right side is actually pretty good. It's got like more o open sight lines, basically. I mean, the, okay, the main issue is that if you come down there, right? If, if you roll out from on the right side and then go down here, uh, a backline player which stands here cannot shoot at you because there's the class in the way. Um, so that's why, like, being a backline and staying in that area, or maybe this one, would actually be more useful to prevent people to have sightlines on the on the on both zones, right? And prevent people from going under and bypassing you because they can't bypass you because you're farther uh, than them. Uh, let me get back to you. Let me check out your gameplay. So you're you're doing pretty good. They took back your zones, so they got the they gave you the penalty points. I like the super jump there. Pretty good. I would okay so here you threw a fizzy bomb I don't think that's the best way to clear out I mean to, to push that person away because um can I, can I actually go there? the thing with the fizzy bomb is that it's pretty unre unreliable it's gonna like do some low hits in in like small spots it can be kind of random it can kind of like bamboozle the person but you shouldn't expect to kill with it as consistently as either a splat bomb or a, a suction bomb it's like really inconsistent and considering like the that the fact that a person was pretty close to you right there i would have said just don't waste your ink on a bomb just there you could have used your i mean just charged and then used the close range shots to like overpower them from above um just put more pain down force them to go back and if they try to to like stay too close obviously you're gonna kill them because you've got like more firepower um i guess they're the squatchers yes i guess you got faster fire rate as long as you manage to get close and if they get back you can also pressure them with like the long range so j having the more options very good pain in close range to push them off uh, if they try to run off, because like if you look at the map right now, uh, look where they're gonna run off. They've got like lots of ink behind them, lots of enemies. They're not gonna be able to run too much. Whereas here, see like you're gonna drop down, but they're hiding in there. If you if you stayed up, see that's why they're able to kill you there. Um, I mean I don't know if they kill. Yes, they did. But if you were if you were to have stayed up, 
and paid attention to them, um, you could have, because here, like, right, you go, be, like, behind, they're behind the wall, so they are, they're able to hide while you don't see them, you could have just, like, kept your focus on them, used your, your main weapon, again, to pressure them, and just push them back, um, I kind of forgot what I want. yeah, because, because there's a lot of ink behind them, right, if you, if you analyze the map, if you take a look at your screen, and, like, think, oh, there's a lot of ink behind them, Oh, plus they were hiding like the little, the tiniest spot that you can see. That's pretty sad. But yeah, j just be more attentive, I guess, to the pain that you have on the map, to where enemies can run off to, and then think about like which tool would, would be the best. I mean, definitely the fizzy bomb wasn't the best tool here. The fizzy bomb's use is really whenever you're already in your base, pretty safe, and you wanna push. You, you wanna not push people. It's like create some annoyance uh, from a distance, uh, from safety. You create annoyance near the enemy's side without having to go there. It's more annoying than a squad bomb. It's not gonna get as many kills than a squad bomb. But it's gonna be more annoying, and that that's a cool thing about it. The fizzy bomb is definitely not something you wanna use as defense, though. It's not something that's gonna put down much pressure. Or like much threat, I would say. It's like it's good at, at annoying people. It's not good at, at threatening people to back off though. I hope that's clear enough. Um that you're struggling to play the zones, especially the right one. Uh, I would say that you could use your short range shots to get on uh, to get on that side. I mean, on, on that ridge, and then pick with your short range shots because they, they paint very well. Like I see you sometimes try to to paint. I don't really know what you're doing with your shots. It's kinda, it, it, I I don't really know because. You, sometimes you're using your long range shots, but it feels like you're trying to use them for painting instead of shooting at the people that are a bit farther. It's like, personally, when I play the bullet point, either I I paint through the short range or like attack someone really close and, and make sure they're dead. And whenever I switch to long range, I I have someone in my sights that I will kill, and that's all I'm doing. Um, I'm not hesitating. Basically, it's like. Short range for most stuff, killing at a distance with the long range. Um, it feels like you're moving a bit too much. You should probably try to find a safe spot that you can stay in. Yeah, and here also you, you swim, so you drop your charge, you, you swim towards the person. Uh, they were all, yeah, the, that was not up there. Definitely try to. Uh, feels like you're trying to get back to the action a bit too much. Maybe you're maybe you're feeling pressured and stressed at that time. Yes, you see what you did there? Like you're you're painting with your long range shots. I don't think that's that's a good thing. Cause he here's another thing actually, um, that might be interesting to you. It's like you're like oh yeah, but if if I don't use my long range shots I'm not gonna create pressure so enemies are gonna be able to get closer and I don't think that's necessarily I think there was someone behind me right now. anyways so yeah uh, I think it's it's a good thing actually to like make the enemies think that you are that you have a certain limited distance to fight because then whenever they they're trying to get a bit too close to you right not like in they're like, oh, I'm gonna outrange them because I've got more range than their short range mode. But then you're like, oh, remember, I have a long range mode, and you kind of like surprise them. It's not necessarily, I mean, sh you know, players can, they're smart, they can understand that, what, how the bullet point works. But during combat, if you don't see shots, you're not like, you're not feeling any pressure. And if the, the shots you're seeing are not reaching you, you're not gonna worry. And here's the cool thing about the bull point. It can switch its range during during the fight. So if people aren't like super attentive, like, oh, that's a bull point. I should like go farther than the shots that it that I can see visually on my screen. If they don't pay attention like 
like like that, like super paying attention a lot, you can surprise them with it. So de I definitely think stay staying in your short range mode a majority of the time has its benefits, like with the paint, with the with the kill time, etc. But it also has advantages in terms of like bamboozling enemies. So definitely something to consider. Um, yes, I will. I'm. I'm. Yeah. I guess that's it.